determine the values of the six trig functions for the angle theta, where theta is in quadrant four and the sine of theta is minus seven over 25. We'll have two methods to get to our answer. First method is a right triangle and the cast method. Now, I have sine of theta is minus seven over 25, so we ignore the sine. That's gonna mean our opposite is seven, hypotenuse is 25. So I need the adjacent. So we're gonna use Pythagorean theorem of 25 squared equals, okay, the adjacent squared plus seven squared. That gives me the adjacent squared is 576, or the adjacent is 24. Okay, you might know off the top of your head, seven, 24, 25, right triangle, but if not, that's how we get it. So adjacent's 24. Now I can start filling things in. So the idea is, first, we wanna get the absolute value by function for sine, cosine, and tangent. Then we fill in the sine using the cast method. Okay, let's get the absolute values first. So sine, opposite over hypotenuse, so 7 25ths. Okay, we already knew that. Cosine, adjacent over hypotenuse, we get 24 over 25. And then tangent, opposite over adjacent, 7 over 24. I wanna put the signs in, so we use cast. So the way cast works, we're gonna start in quadrant four, and then the idea is gonna be, we'll be told by the letter what the sign is gonna be on cosine, sine, or tangent. If I'm in quadrant four, cosine is positive, sine and tangent are negative. Quadrant one, they're all positive. Quadrant two, sine is positive, cosine and tangent are negative. And then quadrant three, tangent is positive, sine and cosine are negative. Okay, so what happens then? If I'm in quadrant four, cosine is gonna be positive, sine and tangent are negative. So that gives us our first three values for our trig functions. Then if I want the next three, so cosecant, secant, and cotangent, we get those by just taking our first three, flipping them over. So cosecant is one over sine, so we'll get minus 25 over seven. Secant is one over cosine, so I get 25 over 24. Then cotangent, one over tangent, we get minus 24 over seven. So there are six values of our trig functions. Okay, the other method, same idea. We'll still need cast, but instead of using a right triangle, we're just gonna use a trig identity, get our answers out. All right, the identity I use, we have cosine squared plus sine squared is equal to one. So by using that, I'm gonna put in our 7 25ths, we'll square it so the sine will go away. Then I'll have cosine squared is equal to 24 over 25 squared. Cosine could be plus or minus 24 over 25. Since I'm in quadrant four, the cosine is gonna be positive, so we use positive cosine, so plus 24 over 25. Okay, now I have sine and cosine, so you just pull off the rest of our functions from those two. So tangent, that's gonna be sine over cosine. That's gonna give me, okay, when we clean things up by multiplying by 25 over itself, minus seven over 24. If I want cosecant, I flip over sine. So I'll have minus 25 over seven. If I want secant, I flip over cosine, I get 25 over 24. And then if I want cotangent, we flip over tangent, we get minus 24 over seven. So we note, that checks all the work that we got using our first method.